Hello there, cupcakes. We're back. The Pokemon bucket hat is back. We're going to speak about some altcoin communities on Pulse Chain because there are some of you, you've got some DCA money to throw in. I get it. But you got to also remember, you are the minority. Most people, we're still stuck in the waiting for better times period. So there's no real motivation or energy for everyone to hear about stuff. But I want to give you an overview, like a 3D bird's eye view of some, not all, of the Pulse Chain communities out here. So, I mean, I'll go through this every like month or two, but I think it's interesting. So, Tangent, my friend Tangent, he made a postie and he said, which Pulse Chain altcoins to buy after the core coins? So, what are the core coins? Of course, they're the ones on the front of the Pulse coin list or Go Pulse website. Right, you have them here. You have you have Pulse, Pulse X, Inc, uh, P Hex, and E Hex. It's basically the rigid heart coins. Okay, that like we're, I call them core. I started using the word core, and now everyone uses it, which is good. That's what I want because it summarizes everything, kind of like the core of the earth, you know. And where do we go from here? Well, obviously, friends, none of this is financial advice. Can go straight to zero. I'm not telling you to touch any of these coins. I just want to show you how to think about gaining exposure in an ecosystem. And I'm also going to show you how, by the end of it, you're going to look at any other chain and be like, oh, I don't know this information over there because there's a cabal and I can't actually visually see that. So it's like a little, there's a lot of risk. So outside of the core coins, friends, I have them here, right? This is a quick off-the-cuff list to just expose you to different ecosystems. And by the way, as soon as I do these, I know... I, I love it as well. As soon as I don't, if I, if I forget to mention one thing or one community, they just come out yelling, Aah! but I can't list everything. You can understand it. Now, maximum $1 risk. Why do I put this? Because if you, listen, okay, if you lose a dollar in something, I'll cover you. <laughs> we'll all cover you, bro. We'll all, 100 of us will put one cent in to cover you. Anything after that's on you. Okay. So where to from here? Well, if you're looking at the core coins, of Pulse Chain, the first logical step outside of the core coins is ICOSA. And what I'm going to do now, I'll just show you the chart. This is just like if you have core coins, right? You have Pulse, Pulse X, E Hex, P Hex, Inc. Right? And what I've done is I'll just put them in the bottom left. Now, when you look at a risk curve, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out like a risk curve like this, just to show you like that. Traditionally, remember where we are on a part of the risk curve, and normally the bottom left is Bitcoin. It's meant to be Bitcoin, and then right next to Bitcoin is Ethereum. And then after Ethereum, probably people are going to say Soylana and other top 10 coins, other layer one chains. And then after that, you start going to like, you know, more riskier layer one chains like Pulse Chain. Where, hey, risky can be good, by the way, crypto, right? Um, and then you have, you know, application chains and stuff. And what would be at the very, very end? You would probably have all the way at the end here, you have like new cycle one appearances of whatever narrative it is, okay? But that, that's the risk curve. So you can actually draw it out for Richard Hartcoin. So the first step out would naturally be ICOSA. And then you also have Hedron there. But Hedron is more inflationary, yada, yada, yada. But that's the first step. Now, why is it the first step? It's the only coin that Richard Hart approved. And how did he approve it? He bonded the origin address liquidity, he or whoever controls it, right? He bonded it in 2022 to Hedron. It's basically... Uh, Alex Magic Beard, the founder, he fulfilled all of Richard Hart's requests for a coin if he ever made one, what he, what he approves of. The the founder doesn't get enriched. There's no secret supply out here, uh, fair distribution, et cetera, et cetera. I forgot what the, the conditions were. Richard Hart pretty much wrote it down. He, he said it in one of the streams and, and Alex fulfilled all of them. So he liked it. He actually called Alex smart. Um, Richard has never called, by the way, any human being smart. I've never heard him call anyone smart on any stream. He called Alex smart. Okay, Richard only calls himself smart. He doesn't respect anybody else pretty much in terms of like smart stuff. He's always, of course, yeah. I mean, if you're the top 0.01% of in IQ in the world, um, yeah, you don't really think many people are smart anyway. So ICOSA, friends, I've written it here. It's the first thing to get to get some slingshot leverage on Hex. So remember, we're going outside of the core coins. So if someone wants to throw in and go, oh, I've got $100. Okay, $90 is in Pulse, Pulse X, EX, PX, Inc. The core coins. Now you start to go out into this land of leverage. So what we call, not, not borrowed leverage, but just slingshot leverage. 
the nerds, you know, from university, they call it beta, B-E-T-A. It's basically, you know, your system market risk. So if the market goes up like one unit, do you go up two units or do you go down two units? That, that's that's when you have more beta, more, you're more sensitive. So when it comes to ICOSA, friends, I'm not going to spend all the time on all the coins, but this is obviously the ICOSA chart. We can actually look at it here. Now, most interesting part is, as you've seen, this is the ICOSA chart. It's really, really small, the market cap, but the ICOSA hex ratio tells you everything you need to know, all right? So we're in the floor and up here is where the ceiling is. So if hex fulfilled its destiny, everyone loves yield again, this thing does a 4x on whatever hex does, 4 to 5x, up to 5x. So if hex does 20, this can do 100. Do you see? But um, we already saw from my posts previously as well, when hex was moving up 10%, you'd see an icosa or hedron move pump as well. And this is the same with many other coins out here. So this is one of my recent posts. Icosa is the first coin a Richard Hart Maxi should own outside of the cores. It's slingshot leverage on hex. Okay, so now you can go look up how it works or whatever, right? But it, ne it needs, it. look, it dies if hex dies. So if hex is going to recover, you get slingshot leverage on it. But there's more risk. Okay, there's more risk. You you don't you can't access any liquidity in it because it's like it's so volatile. I mean, like hex went down ninety nine percent. This get crushed even more. You see, so it's uh yes, this this is the whole game of all these. Now, naturally, there might be some of these other coins, friends, but I forgot how they work. You have Mr. Dip catches like the long term staking thing of Decky Maxi and stuff. So you could basically buy. They're like basically wrapped token versions of a stake, and you, you can get access thing to the, a bit a bit of the bonus. So. You can participate them if you want, but uh, I'm sure people want you want to explore like you know outside of the cores, right? So that's where we start to move to today. So now I've got some coins here. Once again, we'll just go through them. So one thing I just started with is you can get some Pika to expose yourself to. So there's a poker center being made. There's a poker center Telegram here, here, and then there's the Pika on Pulse Chain, which is a real community takeover, and the Dev Jeted. And now you have all these love, lovely AI images, everything pumping up. This is the this is the this is the chart. So you can actually look at Pika versus PLS ratio, and you can see it here. I mean, this is just I mean, I, friends, I'm I mean, even I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked at what this thing's doing. I'm shocked. By the way, all, all the coins are cheap. All the coins are cheap. But I'm just showing you. Look, I look. I, I know, friends. This is this is not going to make sense to like people who wear like you know. Uh, suit ties and, and pinstripe shirts and people who like slick their hair back. Not going to make sense to them, but it makes sense to you. Your friend saw me, wears a Pikachu hat. All right. I love Pikachu and I love Pokemon. The, the, the memes are so fun. I throw them in next to the peppies, right? It's just natural that the idea of it keeps living on. Now, here's the thing. The idea living on and transferring that to value of a coin, that's where a community has to come. Because you can't just go, oh, mint a meme, a mint a coin, and get value in there, right? So if your friend someone's gonna wear a Pikachu hat, one could speculate that if my audience grows with this fluffy microphone, almost like what, 30,000 subs on YouTube, maybe one day I'm 500,000. Maybe one day they're playing clips of me on Crypto Banter and all these other things and Pulse Chain gets, remember friends, Ansem went from 50K people, 50K to 80K Twitter followers to 440,000 in the space of 90 days because Dog With Hat went monster. I just want to show you, the thing about that, Ansem friends, total antithesis of Richard Hart. He's got Dragon Ball Z posters. He uh, He's paying girls to simp on him, recording girls dancing in Vegas. Uh, in a pool and telling Twitter to go message her for him. True story, right? I mean, you remember that, what, what happened? Um, talking about heaps of meme coins, all this other stuff, changing his opinion all the time, backpedaling on things, coming out. So it's literally, it, you're like, wow, that doesn't seem like really alpha male, but guess what? Didn't really matter. Soilana crowd ate it up. You say his influence went still big. So it's not about whether you agree with something or not. It's just product market fit, right? I guess there's a market out there. But you would naturally think, if I have a Pokemon hat, I've got a fluffy microphone and the community's small and you can just see how much energy there is there, owning that just gets exposure to, say, your friend Somi, and by the way, friends, I have a lot of coins. I'm just giving you an example. And this Pikachu meme stuff because we're calling it the poker chain. 
You see, it's it's fun, it's easy, it's memeable. So even right, right here, get some Pika to expose yourself to some Poker Center and Somi memes. That's it, just me throwing memes. You know what I noticed, friends? Uh, me posting all the Peppy, I love posting Peppy. I post Peppy out of all the memes, right? Uh, I don't even talk about Peppy Coin that much. A lot of people say, "Hey, are you telling us to buy a Peppy?" And I thought, "Wait, I just, I just, I just love the meme pictures of Peppy." And people like automatically they start buying Peppy. They, they, talk, they think I'm saying that, but it doesn't matter whether I say it or not. Okay, but I'm just helping you uh, go through it. Now you can take. So here's the thing, friends. You go to speak to everybody in every chain. They'll say, "Buy my coin, put everything in my exposure, and that's it." But I'm just being, I'm being honest and just telling you this. So if you have your friend Sami here, you can also get B Roots exposure. Because B Roots is like probably almost a hundred thousand followers. B Roots and Ian. Now, whatever you think of them, okay. Some some say good image. Some say bad image. Some say in between. Some say shifty, shady. Whatever whatever the hell is doesn't really matter. You look at their megaphone. You go, okay. Ian's probably got I don't know sixty thousand plus followers. Uh, B Roots is like a hundred thousand. B Roots was on Crypto Banter, and they're gonna keep yelling about their coins. That's it. So I gotta once again tell you, friends, you're. It's like, like maybe some of you, you're not really, you're not a volleyball fan, you know? So if I showed you all the volleyball stats, you just pick the best team. Cause you're like, ah, oh, I know nothing about volleyball, but go to some towns in England, try to get some Manchester guy to start, you know, cheering on Arsenal or whatever. They'll literally slit your throat. You get it. They don't care about the stats, buddy. Oh, this is my team and that's it. Okay. So, so we're trying to be unbiased here because I just want everyone to win. But actually, everyone wins together because it's a community. So if you want exposure to, say, B Roots and Ian, you can get P-Dye or Teddy Bear. It's all part of the Eotropa ecosystem. And also, remember, there's a bigger part of that. You're getting exposure to Maria, the dev. So that's another thing as well, you know? So this is where it starts to branch out. And I know, friends, it can be like a bit cumbersome. You're like, oh, which coin to get? Which coin to get? That, that's the tough part, man. You want to know what's, what's, what's even more harsh? Pulse Chain is the easiest and the most clearest. Because Pulse Chain PLS is only 600 million market cap. Good luck trying to do this on Soilana. There's literally 800 coins. 800 coins. It's like thousands minted every day. This is the PDI chart. And this is, let's look at the PDI pulse ratio as well. So yeah, you're playing a premium compared to when I was making videos about it here. But I'm, I'm helping you just get the idea of, oh, wow. So like Somi's audience and then B Roots, it's different. And then Maria with the Atropa ecosystem. Wow, see, you're, you're branching out here. Now, friends, obviously, I'm telling you, remember, peak is not my coin. I'm just giving you an idea. Hey, there are going to be people out there. Uh, you know what? Well, give me an idea to even make this post, friends. I went through Eric Wall. Eric Wall uh, retweeted. He posted one of my videos about him being cursed. And then um, Bitcoin Maxis, they're calling me the uh, the Pikachu boy. They're like, oh, Eric, you got outdone by the Pika boy, the Pikachu guy. They're calling me the Pikachu guy. <laughs> That, that, that's, I thought, wow, they're calling me the Pikachu guy. That's funny, you know? It's, it's something to think about, friends. Remember, uh, if you think too much about it, you get nowhere. Like, how much thinking did you need to do for Doge before it did a 250x exactly four years ago? No thinking. Elon likes it. I'm in. Elon likes dogs. This is the dog coin in crypto. Bang. You see? And boy, oh boy, was that a rally and a half. Just think about this. So you want to be mid-curve, friends? There you go. There's 355x. Can you believe that? In Do Doge's price chart. Now, as we explore the rest of the Pulse Chain ecosystem, right? Throwing it out here. There's also, there's Dick with Butt. Now, DWB, friends, is one of the Tangang coins. But you have Mr. Dirky Turkey, who I post. He dresses up as like a real Dick with Butt. Like he, I mean, like Dirky Turkey is awesome, friends. He's actually awesome. He actually dresses up. He has his own YouTube channel. He's making videos. He puts he puts his my head on DWB. See, friends, when people put my head on the meme stuff, why do you think I'm doing it? Because I'm scrolling on my phone. It's so easy for me to just go copy, paste, make a tweet. And I make a tweet, friends. I, I see the images, and then I don't even tweet about the image, Okay. Often I'll just I'll just put like a cute dick with but hey is my head on something and then I'll put like the macro economy is not gonna turn it's just it just inspires me I want to put a picture out there you know it's not always about a direct picture you see so here's Dirky Turkey you see he's making all these amazing images I know this is gonna grow to something bigger oh I like him you see you want to align hey this guy's doing work he's out he's putting his face out there streaming you see that's that's beautiful I'm just showing you hey different parts of the crypto space where people aren't abandoning. So whether you have a positive image or a negative image about someone, most likely you're going to be wrong about certain corners. Oh, I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy. Okay, forget that, okay? 
The stats are the stats. Do they abandon? Are they going to abandon this subset of coins? That's what you're looking at. What are the probabilities of that? And if you think, oh, they keep talking about it, even though the thing's 95% down, they don't shy away. Like me, fans, people say to me, oh, the coin went down 93%. I go, yeah, bro, it's cheap. They're a retard selling. The liquidity is thin. No one's scared. We're, still, we're not going away. I'll meme it harder. You see that? But I I'm trying to inspire everyone to like bounce back with ferocity. Just like the Hex community, you never give up. As soon as you give up, it's game over. Okay. I wish I could just give this to everybody, what's in my heart. But I understand I'm here 18 hours a day. And I know what actually gives crypto value. Nothing to do with price to earnings, all these other BS. It's Metcalf's law and the communities and stuff. right? But everyone's learning over time. Now, friends. This is a bit of a unique one as well. So the next one, you can get na na na. You remember na na na, friends? I still have it, still like it. But with na na na, something interesting happened, which I'll show you. Now, na na na, friends, had a double hit. It was a double hit. So this is, a, so it had one hit from Tang Gang's spotlight positivity, hit rock bottom with the nine millimeter staking exploit. Okay, so that happened. And obviously, the FUD row cycle is going to rotate around. It's going to get better, but it takes months, okay? Because it happened with Hexy Bastard. Now, Na 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 took a hit being a low market cap thing, but it also got double hurt. Why? Because, unfortunately, it hurts me to say it. One guy put a size of the liquidity. He bought Na Na Na, and he bonded it with LUSD, the Pulse Chain one with the minting exploit. And the evil rugging scammers... They told everybody the bug had been fixed when it hadn't. The minting exploit, they, they told everybody. They made all these posts saying the minting has been fixed. Everything's great. We're going to be burning. They told them. And what happened was they ended up minting it. And that person, because he's bonded them, the rug up when they come to dump, they take all his na 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 and dump that out. You see? So, But I'm just showing you, this is also part of the exam. I'm showing you an opportunity. Okay? Once again, not financial advice. I'm just telling you, hey, I know why this thing is down. You have a double whammy effect of 9mm exploit sending Tangang coins down. So, you know, okay, that's going to go away eventually. And then you have this guy bonded liquidity. His money got stolen. So he lost all his money. Everything goes down here. And it doesn't take much. I mean, friends, the coin's 316k market cap. And this is the most tiniest thing to pump up. Hell, like we could pump up 10x if we wanted to. <laughs> that's how small these things are. So you got you got to think big, okay? But I'm just showing you another part of the ecosystem that's, that's out here. Now, friends, here's another turn as well. There is BBC. And poor pleb, you remember, so BBC will give you exposure to 9-inch and Hexibastard, okay? With na na na, friends, you also get exposure. You got Tangang, Dirty Turkey, other people in the Tangang community who are posting it as well. You have um, Shilim Defoe as well. So so this is like another an another corner. Now, remember, everybody's like slinging shit at each other because like because it's limited capital. But everyone has a scarcity mindset. I'm trying to tell everyone, have an abundance mindset because you guys are all... Acting like Pulse Chain is going to have a 600 million market cap forever. You should be acting like we're going to be 60 billion market cap. That's where Soilana is, okay? If Soilana does a 5x from here, why can't we go up to where 60 billion is? Or even half that. doesn't even matter. Cardanzo, friends. We can go flip Cardanzo. Cardanzo, Charles Hoskinson coin, hit 100 billion in 2021 peak. If Cardanzo hit 100 billion in 2021 peak, why can't we hit 50 billion? That's still 80x higher than today. If Pulse is 80x higher than today, friends, you don't even want to know how high all these altcoins are. The shittest altcoin is up 40x. I'm not even joking. If Pulse the speed is up 80x, the shittest altcoins are only 20 to 40x higher. And the amazing ones, what do you think they're going to be? They're not going to be 80. They're going to be up to 800 or 1,000x higher. 1,000x. Dog with Hat did 40 thousand x that's right from 100k market cap i showed you on the chart went up to four bucks from 100k market cap to four billion forty thousand x my friends you see now that's obviously the unicorn but there are heaps of other coins that went up so let's actually go and explore hexibastard coins so obviously that's from nine inch so that's you have nine million exchange and you have nine inch for example and BBC is like their incentive token okay so why i'm just showing you is if you're, if you're gonna do a lottery ticket and this thing is gonna fly He's, he is BBC to 9-inch, and uh, funny enough, it's actually held up against the 9-inch token itself. So you could, if you wanted to, friends, you could touch by 9-inch. 9-inch is good. Um, you could get BBC, do their yield farming and stuff. Now, there, there's poor pleb as well, which is funny as well. It's still there. <clears throat> it's still there. And they're like, they look like really dead low, but obviously it's because the spear is down, my friends. It's because the spear is down. You see that? Look at that. 
Now you're still in the zone. You're still in the zone. Remember, Hexy Bastard friends had Hexy Bastard had peak FUD around around here. Okay. Hexy Bastard had peak FUD around there, went down and down and down. Actually, it peaked. I think the FUD for him was down here when I was literally telling everyone, no, 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 the guy's coming back. A few months later, bang. Of course, it just comes back down. We need to do these double bottoms and stuff out here. But once again, it's like it's another set of exposure out here. So there's different personalities and characters. Nine Inch is not going away. Nine Millimeter Exchange is not going away. Everyone said Dev is a Jeet Rugger. Uh, look, man, it could be. I'm just telling you right now, the website's not going away. The Tang Gang's not going away. They're not going away. B Roots ain't going away. I'm not going away. By the way, that's worth more than a profitable freaking application in crypto. The fact that you're not going away. Okay? What's got the most value in crypto? Bitcoin. How much profit does it make? Zero. It's just the community that believes. So let's continue as well. Also further down the line, friends, so it's Tang Gang-esque, but not really. You have OMG. So this is Orange Man Good. You can get a MOG encoded and Trump encoded unique exposure to that new culture of this crypto cycle. Plus, it's got some meme exposure with Donald Trump itself because um, don't bet on human memes, friends. Don't. Because there's only one unicorn, Donald Trump, okay? What this guy's been able to do, I mean, the guy had two assassination attempts. He took a bullet to the head. You know what I mean? Like, like this is you rare, friends. Most people, they end up showing you why they're just another human at the end of the day. But for Donald Trump, his meme ability and his legacy kept appreciating over time. He's like the Mona Lisa artwork. You're just like, ah, no one's going to look at this JPEG on the wall in 300 years. Yes, they are. Something weird happens, right? This is OMG. Of course, it's on a log chart. How much is down USD? It's 80% down. And then you have, this is on the pulse ratio as well. So see, friends, these things, look, it's only six, 700 mark cap. These are, these are so small, friends. So like, wow. Like, wait till we get a meme coin that's a billion size on, on pulse chain. Yeah. Because there's going to be others, 50 million, 100 million, Everywhere, 10 million, 20 million, 30 million. That'll be amazing. But it's showing you like the meme ability fans of Orange Man Good is good. It's, it's it's oranges also related to Tang Gang, right? And it's not a Tang Gang coin, but it's oranges as well. So you just got to remember the color. It's also orange, friends, is the color of Bitcoin. And it's the orange of Donald Trump. And then you have the Mog glasses. There's the orange part is the most striking part of the, the Mog and Goda glasses, right? Where So you see what I mean? These things just hit differently. And also, like, people might say, hey, Sammy's got a Donald Trump wig in his closet. Yes, I do. I do. You've seen me wearing it. In fact, I'm just, just telling you. Some things are just easier to catch on than others. We're trying to figure out because what we're doing is getting great ideas for us so that when the cabal come in and they all come try to steal the four Pulse Chain people, everyone in Pulse Chain is here. They're going to think twice about joining their dog shit coins. They're going to know, hey, we've been here the whole time. You see, that's what's eventually going to happen. Now, moving on, friends, there's Gophers. Gophers on Pulse Chain. You have Dip Catcher has been building quietly in the background, and Telegram has 3,000 plus members still. So, dip, remember, Dip Catcher's building in the background, friends. And uh, uh, because Dip Catcher, remember, they went and did the whole Solana thing, and just there was a lot of Pulse Chain community members are like really pissed off about that. And just because it was like, hey, man, you meant to be on Pulse Chain, screw the other chain and stuff. And I get it. it I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. Um, so the, the Gophers launch was great to start and it fades off, but he's still there, still building, not going away, okay? And you got to think about the guy made 10 and 15 year stake things for Hex. So it's still there. And there's squirrels. Everyone loves squirrels. Gophers are ground squirrels. So unique, friends. They're unique. And there's an emoji for it too. There's an emoji. That's why I see the squirrels. There's only one squirrel here. Now, you can even... Go, by the way, there's multiple Gophers. Not financial advice. Maybe just buy the Pulse Chain one. I guess the Pulse Chain community, okay? And and the Pulse Chain community memes hard, man. They, they meme freaking hard. The best thing about Pulse Chain community, friends, is we don't give up on the memes because the price is down. It comes from Richard Hart saying, volatility is the price you pay for the best performing asset. We just say that about all the meme coins. You see that? So it's embedded in our mind. Yeah, 99% down. Friends, Hex went down 99% and we're still saying it's better Bitcoin. Do you get it? This, the heart and the courage, it's spread out to everybody in the ecosystem. You don't find this in other ecosystems, man. Soilana is, hey, dude, you're not cool anymore. We got a new fifth cat coin today. 
It's like that everywhere. Okay, now there are some great hot stuff on Soy Lana. Just that I know there's 150,000 eyeballs looking at it because all the mainstream influencers are looking at it. Okay, so you, you can get stuff anywhere, friends. Just like, I don't want to buy $38 million meme coins on Soy Lana. I don't. I like 300k ones. That's <laughs> so easy. It's just, they're so easy to grow. That's why. Now, friends, another coin we have here, which I'm just going to show you like more, you know, trying to look for slingshot leverage, right? Is Upex. So Upex is a turbo slingshot leverage on Pulse Chain PLS rising. And you got bottom cheap prices right now since ETH BTC collapsed cheap. So Upex, friends, is interesting. There's a literal treasury. It has almost 30 billion Pulse PLS, 30 billion, which is worth 1.1 million today. Now, sorry, 1.1, yes, 1.1 million. Now, that treasury is interesting because the UPEX liquidity on the ask side is only about $18,000. So compare, you have a million dollars in a treasury, which is, it's, it's actually, it's doing some like DeFi leverage thing, and you've only got $18,000 on the offer of your coin. And it's literally taken on leverage, very low rate, safe rates to pump the shit out of it later. It literally slingshot leverage. Now, the chart, if you look at it, it, it really is turbo leverage. Look what happens, right? It pumped up rocket up and then it started to go down. Now, it's, it is around here. Now, this is why it's fascinating, friends, because... <laughs> I, just, just, I, I don't know what they're going to do. And they, they've told you what they're going to do. Okay, they... Um, this is our edge, friends. This is informational edge. Now, once again, it comes to trust. That's why you don't go all in. Okay, but... Fuck me then. If Pulse Chain, I can't even say it. If Pulse Chain, the speed, does a 50x from here. Not even 50. This should do 10x. 10. That treasury has about $10 million of Pulse in there. Okay? And it's earning yield. Okay? You got $10 million. Now, what do you think it's going to do to a shitty little $18,000 offer? You got $10 million. Do you want to know what that does? It's literally slingshot. It literally does like four to one. Whatever Pulse does, this thing goes up. Now, it's going to be cancer in the next bear market because it's turbo leverage, but you're here for the bull market. So I'm just telling you, I'm just showing you different levels, friends. Remember, we started like peak on Pulse chain, like, oh, my friend Zomi is a unicorn himself. 30,000 followers, maybe he gets to 300,000. See how you're like, that's your risk exposure. And then you maybe have B-Roots, Peter, I, Teddy Bear, Tropa. Then you have Dirty Turkey, Upcomer. Then you have Gophers building in the background. You see these little cities, right? And then you have this, which might just literally go, you know what? Fuck the bears. <laughs> so it'll be funny, right? So <laughs> I'm just here to open your mind up. Now, friends, there's another section out there that exists in crypto, Pulse Chain. Solid X or Axis or Nope, which is Randy Hilasi's coin. Axis is Axis. Solid X is the Fire Whale. They can be bought as exposure to the Pulse Chain influencer coin set, all cheap. So, of course, there is um, Mr. Crispy Band as well. So, there's this Fire as well. But I'm just going to show you. This is the chart. Now, the thing is, it's got very high market cap here. FDV, huge. It's just, but its liquidity is 238K. But once again, friends, you want to look at the Pulse Ratio. Okay, the Pulse Ratio is actually very low. Wow, it's gone below my box. Let's see how much it's down, done 88%. Maybe it even goes low, who knows? Maybe it's done, maybe it's just rounding off here. But um, what are you playing for in this? Well, Solid X, I forgot how much the guy's got, 30, 40, 50 million right now. So um, he's earning a couple of hundred grand, I think, a week in yield. Maybe because ink is lower, it's less than that. But yeah, I mean, like, I know this is going to sound like ridiculous, but you've got to remember, this has never been done before. So look, don't hold my feet to the fire because I'm a marshmallow and I'll roast, but these retarded ideas usually work the first time. Where, I'm not joking, everyone's, just, everyone's hoping, Mr. Fire Whale, he's got a shitload of incentive token. And when your incentive token pumps, they believe he's going to, well, we all believe, we, because I hold some, <laughs> we all believe he's going to dump ink and just pump the shit out of Solid X. Okay, so I know this this sounds retarded in every sense. And I was like, why would someone give you money? Why would they do this? Why would they do that? Listen, listen. Four years ago, crypto's a Ponzi. 
Imagine I told you, screw DeFi, screw payments, XRP, screw Ethereum, screw Bitcoin, screw everything you know, screw Monero, privacy solutions, screw more. There's a picture of a dog logo here, and that's more fun than everything else in the top 100. And that's going to do a 350x. You would literally, friends, you would get this cigarette like here, and you'll take a puff and you'll just burn it into my forehead right here. Okay, you that's that's how upset you would be at the bullshit I would be telling you. Guess what? Doge did go 350x. Ah, logo's more fun. So I'm not saying just go into retarded ideas. I'm just telling you that's the exposure people are playing for. They're literally playing for Solid X, Fire Whale to do what he did here and just pump it up. Okay, I don't know, man. This is... But I trust you, friends. I wake up every day going like, man, there's no way these things are going to work. But I know deep down they will because they're so uncertain. Okay. Now, I believe, look, how I can see this story playing out is it actually does work. But in the next bear market, someone tries to do it again, but they just bait people into a coin and then they never do the buying and they just rug. So that's what I think ends up happening. Everyone's saying, hey, trust me. I'm the new Fireway or I'm the new Richard Hart. To come and pump a coin. That's how I see it playing out. Now, also, friends, the Gray's alien currency is amazing. Okay. Remember, I have some. I have some uh alien coin. I've told you about it. It's just I couldn't get as much as I wanted because the price run. But I'm just telling you as well. Here's the thing though, with this coin, if you're coming in now, there's a difference between see all the charts I showed you? Dead. Okay. Now look at this. See, now here's the thing. You might say, wow, it's up 570%. I want to get in. I know you want to get in, friends, but I'm just, here's the thing, man. Look at the pulse ratio, brother. <laughs> what a cracker of a coin. Oh my gosh. Respect the pump, man. <laughs> now I'm going to put on a log chart just to show you, friends. Look how much this thing went up, man. But if you bought alien coin, this is the end. This is a three day chart. On its third day, you have made 1,600x on your pulse. Jesus. My gosh, that is a shitload. <laughs> on pulse. Oh, man, I love this. I love this. Thing. That, that's great. But look, man, I know everyone wants to do this chart. Hey, we're probably all going to do this chart, friends. This could be it. This could be it. Look at this. It goes and does a pop-up. But, like, that's why I can't. I can't look, man. It's it's thirty six million market cap. That's what I've put at the end. I'm like, look, it, it they did everything. They they winning. They've done they've done a lot. You broke. Like thinking about this, friends. You broke your all time high against Pulse by four x. That's you the all time high. So I'm, I'm just showing you. There's a difference with them, right? So because like the alien community, I love them. Uh, there's no fud about them. So there's no discount. You see, you're looking for discounts. So that's why I'm just helping you try to understand that there are things, the, the spotlight turns. Friends, you remember uh, Richard Hart, EHEX FUD? Yeah, maybe EHEX goes and rips up. So you're, you're learning by now. I know it doesn't feel good. Trust me, it doesn't feel good. Just because I know this. I'm like, oh, wow, Sammy, that's it. No, trust me, man. Every time I click a coin, I'm like, man, is this ever going to go up? This is never going to go up, is it? But you know deep down... It's just your emotions basically get into you because the candles are down, okay? Now, there are many other coins, and I wish I could go on forever. The Pulse Chain ecosystem is very good because we are all aware of the communities that don't abandon, okay? So just to let you know, the secret source in crypto has nothing to do with tokenomics, has nothing to do with liquidity bonding, ain't got anything to do with anything, friends. The secret source is humanity. It is humans. It is the community, okay? That's actually the secret source. And that, my friends, is the hardest thing to spoof. You can't fake that. You can't fake the community. You can try to fake social metrics and stuff, but the market knows, okay? If you've got six people in your community, but you've got 600,000 Twitter followers, the market's going to price you with six people, okay? So that's pretty much what it comes down to when you're looking at it from these lens. And there's others I'm missing, and there's going to be more that appear, but it's nice. I can could, I could write them in one part. I can like write about a lot of them in one post. And remember how we started, friends. We go back to that risk curve, right? Let's go back to the risk curve that I just spoke to you about. Remember, the core coins, we have Icosa. Then we started venturing out. 
people might say, oh, the P-Dye and Atropa and your friend Tommy and Pika and Dick Whiffa and all these. And then you have to the very, very, very end. What's going to be the very, very end, friends? Well, it's just gonna, it's going to be new things that appear where people say, hey, here's my new JPEG or here's my new whatever. Okay. And, and then eventually, as if you're new, you always start up here, right? But eventually over time, you like, you move further down here because you solidify yourself. But that's good. The longer you solidify yourself, you benefit from your older brother or father core coin rising. So because Icos has been around long enough and it's vetted and there's no rug and Alex is still there and you got Dig with Bar and Tangang and Pedi and stuff, as Pulse Chain benefits from the upside, friends, they benefit too. You see that? But if you're around too long, you just become correlated with the rest of the market. But that's like, that's buying XRP, cycle four coin. You see, you're just correlated to Bitcoin now. Okay, now it's going to have its own pop-offs, but you get the point. XRP ain't doing 150x unless we're all doing 1,500x. So <clears throat> tech investing, right? That's crypto tech investing technology, okay? Like I said, you're not betting on narratives. You're betting on a community. It's just the community. We attach ourselves to narratives because that's how we live day by day. Okay, you risk a dollar. What's the worst case? You lose the whole dollar, Okay. Don't listen to people who say, put a stop loss, take a 20% loss, oh, 50% loss. No, 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 it's crypto, man. Crypto is risky. You lose everything. You've seen it. Wake up tomorrow, boop. what happened to my money? What money? <laughs> you think crypto is money? They're just digital Pokemon cards, sir. You see? That's your downside. Your downside is 100% loss. <clears throat> What's your upside, though? Well, if you're risking 100%, I think you're a retard if you take out for a 2x. And I know mathematically and financially, you'll be wrecked if you take out for a 2x. You've got to play the whole cycle. So the basically, the world's the oyster. How high can it go? <clears throat> it could be a 2. It could be a 100. It could be 500. It could be a freaking 1,000x. I'll just tell you right now, if the Pulse Chain Spear coin, it's 600 million market cap, let's say it does a 10x banger. Let's just it does a 10x. Your shit coins are going to do 5, and the great ones are going to do 100. What if you're in an altcoin layer one chain that doesn't do a 10x from here? What if it only does a 2x by the end of the cycle? Well, the crappy coins of that ecosystem are going to do a 1x. They're going to be round tripping. And then the great coins are only going to do like a 10 to a 20. You see? So because Pulse Chain has deep value contrarian upside potential, everything benefits. It's exactly what happened to Soilana. Everything in Soilana popped off, but here's the advantage we have here. With Soilana, it dispersed a freaking 400,000 altcoins. No one knows what the hell's going on. You all got to, you got to buy things late and get rugged. With Pulse Chain, you can see the Citadel, my friends. You can actually see the Citadel. Here are all the coins out here. You see these logos? Okay. She done! <clears throat> also, some classic ones. Honk! Easily memeable. Oh, I mean, I just start saying it, friends. I haven't checked the chart in three months. I just say, honk. See? Easily memeable, friends. Easily memeable. This is the Citadel. Climbing the Citadel. Generational wealth. Just take a moment to absorb this in. The friendship. The fellow of the friendship. You see this? It's digital real estate. They're digital Pokemon cards. There's limited edition land. You see, that's all the altcoins are. We are grabbing them first before the nasty cabal come in later because they're trying to front run Richard Hart, spending money. Now, here's the thing. If it doesn't work, all right, it doesn't work. But what's your alternative? Your alternative is you just go do this, go do it on other chains, which I do do on other chains. Just the upside's less, man. The upside is less. And what you'll find is you can't trust them, man. There's a lot of people you can't trust out there. Now, you can't trust everybody in Pulse Chain either, but... You saw it firsthand, man. These people don't, they don't freaking care, friends. There's so many people, they don't give a shit. They're in a coin to yell. You saw that influencer chick I was making that, I made that video about, man. She's she's getting all these coins, just dumping the shit out of everything. 40 grand, 30 grand, 20 grand. She's paying for a new titties and a new, like, you know, new fillers in her lips. And she's just got a bunch of sims just joining and dumping. You know what I mean? They don't believe, okay? You believe and I believe. That's why we're going to make it. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all. None of this is financial advice. I've got a strawberry yogurt in the fridge. Catch you in the next one.